testimony hope be inspired glory to God wherever you are will you open your scripture glory to God can we open our scriptures to the book of Genesis chapter 2 glory to God Genesis chapter 2 and we'll read from verse 4 to 7 glory to God Mm. and church I want you to know this for as long as the slave is a child he differeth not for as long as the heir is a child he differeth not from a slave for as long as you don't know who you are you can be anybody but the devil is angry the day you know who you are. Mark what I have been saying. I'm not just saying you are operating in the supernatural. I am saying to you, you are supernatural. Let me not be ahead of myself. Somebody help me look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I'm not all you see. Tell your neighbor, I am supernatural. Let me say it again. The heir, as long as he's a child, differed not from a slave. For as long as you don't know who you are. Every day the devil uses everything to tell you you are like every other person. He uses conditions and situations to remind you like there's nothing special about you. But in services like this, the Spirit of God speaks to your spirit. Please don't ever understand anything I'm going to say today with your mind. You're going to be receiving them with your spirit. Am I communicating? People of God, for the preaching of the gospel is to them that perish foolishness. And a carnal man cannot understand spiritual things. There is a war in your members. That's what Apostle Paul said. People of God, you find that the spirit lost in after the flesh. This is who I am, but this is what the devil says you are. So there seems to be a warfare. Which one do I believe? I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, but the devil tells you, but there is a place of a besetting sin in your life. Lord, which one do I believe? Am I the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? Or am I? People of God, let me tell you, the word of God preceded your weakness. Did that make sense a bit? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's read the scriptures first. This series is, is exciting me. But I want to really build foundation today. So let me not be ahead of myself. I'm going to calm down. Pastor Jerry, calm down. Glory to God. So that we can just know the foundations. And then from the other weeks we can. I don't care if we do this series for two months. People of God, all I know is that you will heal the sick. You will raise the dead. It will not just be tied to this or anywhere you go to. You are a, you are super. If I spoke about you, let your amen thunder loud. I will read the book of Genesis chapter 2 from verse 4 to 7. Glory to God. And people of God at the count of three, can we read together church one to go. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth. When they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth. And every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Glory to God. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Father, let there be none of any man. 
but all of you. Father, we ask that you have your way. 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 And let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord? Uh, but before you do that, have me lift up your right hand and declare, I love the word of God. It is the compass for my living. Say, I love the word of God. It energizes my true life. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Now, would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord? Like I said, we are laying the foundation on what it means um, to coast in the supernatural. And you, you probably would be wondering, Pastor, why is it so important for us to underline this? I wish everyone would hear me and everyone who will join this series at some point will get back to today and know the foundation of what it means to coast in the supernatural. So I deliberately went to Genesis chapter 2 to read what God's design was. You probably have heard me speak about who you are from the light of God's original intention for mankind before the devil came and stole the dominion mandate from the first Adam. Glory to God. And so people of God, the Bible say, and God formed man out of the dust of the ground. Glory to God. And God formed man. Help me look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, and God formed man. That neighbor is not serious. Leave that neighbor. Get in the face of another. Uh, please tell another neighbor, say, and God formed man. Say it again to your neighbor, say, and God formed man. And please, before I get into the formation of the man, please understand that the scripture had already told us that in Genesis chapter 1, that, and God said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness. Am I, am I communicating? So people of God, the man that was made was a product of God's word first. Let me say it again. The man that was made was a product of God's word first. Did you hear what I just said? I need to say this again. The man that is called supernatural was first of all a product of God's word first. Why I need to say this is for you to understand where you came from. So, you are not just a random product of a man and a woman who were in love or who were sexually attracted to each other. Before I formed thee, I knew thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So, somewhere before your mother met your father, God said there will be somebody called Fatima and he's going to be born to so so and so you are a product of God's word let me tell you the devil will not make you understand this the devil will tell you you are a product of your parents there's nothing special about you the reason why you... so we are more acquainted to what our parents have done wrong the causes in our father's house the things that have happened to you why you are where you are but let me tell you you are first of all a product of God's word. You know why it is important? The Bible says heaven and earth shall pass away, but no iota of God's word that will ever pass away. By two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. The Bible says every word I have sent out will not return back unto me void without accomplishing that for which it was sent. So the supernatural man is first of all a product of God's word. So if you want to first of all destroy me, go back and negate what God has said concerning my life. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. This is why I said, <laughs> before you failed God, he had already spoken about you. Your failure does not change what he has said. Ooh. Let me pack that one one side because that's, that's exactly, I just wanted to get back to the original manuscript of your life. And so from the original manuscript of our lives, then we'll come down to the few things I want to say today. Today I want to lay foundation. But you know, I love supernatural. So everything that has ever made me or I have encountered in the work of the ministry and all of that, in this series I'm going to share all because, I mean, everything I do is supernatural. Glory to God. 
And so people of God, and God said, and the Bible says, and God formed man out of the dust of the ground. Then man obviously had a form. Of course, you know, when we say God formed man, that means God took time, you know, to mold the head of the man. Right? God formed man. That's what it means. God molded man. Glory to God. God knows how to mold. Glory to God. God has artistic tendencies. Glory to God. God is a potter. Glory to God. Why are you looking at me like that? So God molded man. Put the hand. Put the finger. Put everything. And man had a form. Then God looks at man and says to man, you know what? You're not even moving even after I've formed you. You can't move even after I've formed you. People of God, see Sereri. Let me ask you, eh? If God formed man, was it not just going to be automatic that if God formed man, man should start moving? You are God all by yourself. Why do you have to do the second level scenario of trying to say, okay, I've finished forming you now. Let me now breathe into you the breath of life so that you can start moving. God was simply trying to say, the first thing you're going to meet about man is his form. But the form is not permitted to move him. When I encounter you, the first thing I'm going to see is your form. This fair-skinned, lovely, good-looking young woman. That's my form. But that's not who I am. My yadoko shati bada. I met this guy and he's so eloquent. So well spoken, had demuri. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That is my fault. But if you must know, it was until God breathed into man the breath of life that man became a living soul. So, sir, it is form versus breath it is form versus breath so let me tell the supernatural people here every day you're going to be in battle between your form and the breath of God which one should move me I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying the form is this man here everything but then there is a breath. This is why the Bible says there is a spirit in man. But the breath of the Almighty giveth him understanding. So this guy cannot be moved by himself. But there's a breath. So the only way for this guy to move rightly and correctly is if he moves at the instruction, at the signal, of the breath of God that is in him. He goes to school, acquires certificates, good. He enhances his form. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. He enhances his form. He buys organic cream. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Enhances the form. But in this kingdom, what moves us is not form. What moves us is the breath of the Almighty. The work breath of God, which is the spirit of God that is in man. As soon as God breathed into man, he said, boom, the Bible says, and man became a living soul. He said, now, now you and I can talk. Now you and I can relate. Now you and I can. So, and once God was done creating man, God understood because man was carrying what he was carrying. God handed the rest of the creation to man and said to man, you know, I'm done creating right now. Now, anything you are going to call these people, anything you are going to call these animals, that will become the name thereof. And God says, listen, you are too supernatural that I could have even molded another woman. I would have molded another thing and called it woman. But because of what you carry, 
I'm going to take out of you. So, God did not create man as you thought. God created a fellow creator. And God said to Adam, take over. Whatever you like, call them people of God. So, just in case there is any animal you don't like the name, I want you to blame Adam. The Bible says, whatsoever Adam called it, that became the name thereof. Did you hear what I just said? I want to tell you where we're coming from. This is where you and I are coming from. And this is where the journey of man started. This made the devil mad. The devil got mad. I was like, what is going on? Let me put this by the corner. That's not where I'm going to. Because I came here today to talk about you, not the devil. Glory to God. Understand that God understood that the devil is a fallen spirit. Did you hear what I just said? They are fallen spirits, fallen angels from heaven. And there's going to be a warfare between man and the devil. So, understand that humanity cannot contend against spirits. Let me explain what I mean. So the devil meets Eve. Hmm? And then goes to Eve. And says to Eve, excuse me. Oh, Eve, you look great. Thank you. Excuse me, did God really say that you people should not uh, eat of this? He said, wow, well, yeah. yeah. He's, he said that, in fact, he said we should not touch it. That any day we touch it, that we should die. <laughs> the devil said, now what for this kind thing, you know? He said, ah, me, I'm thinking that God knows that the day you guys will eat this thing, your eyes will open. You will know the difference between good and evil. Check it out. Girl, check it out. Just check it out. The Bible says, and Eve looked at it. Understand, I said, the battle is between spirit and spirit. So, in that moment, the devil brought his humanity. So, Eve now began to check it. The Bible says, and saw that the tree was good for food. This was her eyes. It was pleasant to the eyes. And then a tree desired to make one wise. And she looked at it and was like, I mean, it's not making sense now. You're giving me instruction. But then what I'm seeing, what I'm reasoning, what I'm, is not giving. As soon as the devil brought Eve into full scale humanity, Eve went and carried it in and chopped. And not just chopping it, she finished it and went to give Adam that was with her there. In other words, the battle is not humanity and spirit. That is why we will fail. This is why I am angry till tomorrow. Because you know the strategy of the enemy is to make you believe everything is human. Everything is human. You no, know, no, 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 there is nothing like... Every now and then, even the doctors are coming to let us know there's a place where we can't function. There are places where we get to. I mean, it was in the U.S. this week. Was it? Yes, this week. That a young girl, a young woman sent in her testimony. And what was her testimony on NSPPD? And she said that we got to that point where they said the cancer has spread. They brought a chaplain to pray for me so that I will die. But she said, I held on to the word of God. I held on to, when I was supposed to die, they came back and said, so you are still alive. And they went and ran the test again. Checked here, no cancer. Checked here, no cancer. Checked here, no cancer. Be packing these things and be keeping them in different places in your mind. So, sir, at, after the fall of man and Jesus coming into the scene, there was redemption. There was restoration. We were restored back to the Father. And so, sir, permit me to say that the pathway to the supernatural life became three things I'm going to mention. One 
is identity. Two is becoming. Three is manifestation. So, the beginning of the supernatural life is give your life to Christ. Did you hear what I just said? Identity. Somebody help me shall say identity. As many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Did you hear what I just said? The Bible says he had called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all things are become new. Identity. 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 People of God, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Identity. Did you hear what I just said right now? Identity. I want you to know the foundation of the supernatural life is in who are you? Who are you? People of God, you are born of the, you are not just born of the water, but you are born of the spirit. You have been begotten by the Father. I want to let you know that it is bigger than just saying, I gave my life to Christ, so this is my choice. People of God, your identity is everything. It is this serious that the seven sons of Sceva woke up one morning. I went and met a madman. And they said to him, in the name, you remember, in the name of Jesus, um, which Paul preached, uh, we adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preached. The guy said, now, wow, <laughs> bros, a day my day, I know trouble now. You come to tell me that you are adjuring me by the, the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Excuse me? Who you, right? <laughs> like, who are you? What's your identity? I don't know you. People of God. I want you to know it's so powerful to know God. It's so powerful to know that you are in right standing with God. People of God. You know the beautiful thing about the, the, the life we have in Christ is that we are not trying to please God. He's already given us righteousness as a gift. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So, the power to live righteously has been released on us. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So, we're not struggling to be holy. Because he's already released upon us the power. As many as received him, to them gave he power. Somebody shout identity. identity. Say it again, identity. identity. In other words, if you are not born again, and you are in this service or you are listening to me today, people of God, I want to let you know that there is no place for the supernatural around you. You will be part of those that he will allow his reign to fall on the good and on the bad. But when I'm talking about a pathway into the supernatural, it is not for you. So if you are not born again and you are hearing me, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Come and be my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. Cleanse me. Sanctify me. And make me pure. And whole again. Amen. You are not born again. You just need to be coming for SOJ Academy. Which is holding uh, on Monday by 6 p.m. Okay, so that's it. Understand that the second thing I said is becoming. I want you to understand that it is not enough. For when people say, oh, my identity, my identity, this is who I am, this, everything is a... Sir, the Bible says that we all, with open face, people of God, we behold his face. 
as in a glass. And we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Somebody shall be coming. So, my identity is of the Father. Every day as I fellowship, I notice that with His presence, some things are leaving me. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. As I look at his face, as he instructs me through the word, as I open, as I open, as I, as I fellowship with the Lord, as I stay in his presence, I discover that things are living. This is why we don't judge brothers, sisters, who their own has not left. They are still in fellowship. Did you hear what I just said right now? So once they keep beholding the face of the Lord, God will continue to work on them. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. God will continue to kill some things in them. God will continue to... So people of God, the second foundation for the supernatural life is what? Becoming. And this is a place where you must give expression to the fruit of the spirit. To the fruit of the... I am tired of believers who understand the supernatural to mean only the gift of the spirit. The drama of the Holy Ghost. No, sir. No matter how much you show forth the gift of the Spirit without the fruit of the Spirit, you are a thinking Simba. But people of God, there's something beautiful that when people know that you manifest the power of God, they meet you on a close level and they know you are kind and they know you have love and they know that you are patient and they know you are long-suffering. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. This is the becoming. They know that you are gentle. Every day you continue to release yourself to the fullness of God. God, please walk. Because people of God, let me tell you, every time we people hear supernatural, or they hear, they believe the supernatural is one very baritone, um, um, uh, husky tongues. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Once somebody comes with that black cock, the Oji power. Shishi, oji anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if you have all of that and you don't have the life of Christ inside of you, you don't have the fruit of the spirit, people cannot speak around. You are not gentle. You are very unkind. People avoid you in your office. Nobody wants to come close to you because your temper can set a seven-story building on fire. Becoming. So this is why I'm in church every day. So when pastor is talking like this and say, you said the seven story of fire, I say, God, it's me, oh. <laughs> it's me, oh, pastor. Be praying for me. That's why, that's, that's why I'm here. When pastor will talk about those, even though you are here, here in the world, you went to club last night. Say, ah, <laughs> pastor, blood of Jesus. Becoming. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, becoming. Say it again to your neighbor like you mean to say, becoming. Can you say it again to your neighbor, becoming? And people of God, the last, don't forget the third one I said is manifestation. This is that realm. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses. The word witness is proof producer. Yeah. Manifestation. God forbid. Christianity without manifestation is moving down a slippery slope at an alarming speed. I will never be counted amongst those who lived in their generation and there was no manifestation. Somebody help me shall say, God forbid. Somebody help me shall say, God forbid. Somebody help me thunder say, God forbid. People of God, there's a reason. You, you, you see, people of God, listen, let me tell you something. God is amazing. We are here to manifest. You will remember the day I came back from the UK and was on one of the Sunday services. And I was there saying, oh, a pastor reached out to me and said to me, oh, from the day um, of Billy Graham, we've not had any kind of thing like this. We've, you know, this is what just like redigging the wells of revival. You know, people of God, last week, my pastor reached out to me and he said to me, pastor, guess what? I said, what? He said, Billy Graham organization, they are looking for you. You know, there are things that you say, say, don't, don't whine me. Shabi, they whine me. I hope you're not whining me. 
people of God, as I sat in the meeting yesterday, virtual meeting, and I was looking at from this person to this person to this person. People of God, what our God cannot do. Take your seat, God will not take your seat. In the days coming, you shall see the outcome of this meeting. But the calling of God upon our lives is for manifestation. That's why the devil is fighting you. People of God, they are, the Bible says you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill that cannot be. The Bible said, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bush. Somebody help me shall fire. Manifestation. My goodness. My goodness. Are you born again for nothing? Manifestation. You mean there is nothing exceptional about you in the workplace? Manifestation. You mean in the city of Abuja, there will be nothing exceptional about you. Manifestation. People of God, those that do know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Am I talking to someone? So I came to let you know, the mandate on your life is a mandate of manifestation. Don't forget what I said. Number one is what? Identity. Number two is what? become number three is what if you have these three things at the back of your mind you have probably understood what i said now but let me quickly share these five things with you and then i'll be done that is if i get to you know sharing the five things let me tell you the supernatural thrives on faith hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 interesting as it may seem he says now somebody help me shout say now no you didn't say it like you really meant it. shout now can you say it again like you mean it? say now the bible say now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen the next verse for by it the elders obtained a good report my yad I don't know whether you hear it again. Yes, For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Let me say it again. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. I want you to know, it is not by the product of their faith they obtained a good report. You need to get it. We've always looked at the product of the effect and celebrate it. That's not what verse 2 is saying. By the effect, they obtained a good report. Let me say this. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Imagine Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. And Daniel said, you know what? My God is able to deliver me. And even if my God does not deliver me, I still will not bow. And then the lions pounced on Daniel and dragged him to pieces. Understand this. By it, the elders obtained a good report. Not because God saved them. Their good report already came by faith. So even if their product does not come out well by the end of the day they have a good report that they believed in God that they trusted in God that they held on to God even if they die in their sickness one thing is important they held on to God it is more important the good report of heaven even if they don't get their answer
Did I confuse you? For by it, the elders obtained a good report. So this is the way we are looking at it. We as men, we are on this side saying, hmm, your good report though, is when God heals you. Heaven is saying, your good report is that you trusted me in the midst of your crisis. People are saying, until I see oh, your naysayers and until I see what God, then heaven is saying, you already have a big pass mark that in the midst of what others are doing, you can simply go and do it. But you have chosen to hold on to me. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. I'd rather get a good report. I'd rather get a good report from my God. I'd rather get a good report. This is what made Job to say, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Even though he kills me, the report he's going to give me about me is more important than the miracle which I will get at the end of the day. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Am I communicating? The supernatural thrives on faith. Did you hear what I just said? I want to say it again. The supernatural thrives on faith. Let me make you understand this again. The supernatural is energized by prayer. I don't even know why anybody will have a problem with prayer. Prayer is like bread. I don't know whether you're getting one thing. Anybody that looks at you and says, hey, prayer, you people are always praying. Jesus has finished praying all the prayer. How many of you know that? The Bible says, he ever liveth to make intercession for us. So even as we are, the Bible says, yes, wherefore he's able to save to the uttermost. Them that uttermost that come unto him, Come unto God by him. Seeing he ever lived to make intercession. So even as me and you are talking now, Jesus is still praying. Please, can you show me this in another translation? Some people are looking at me and saying, Pastor, we thought that he was he's just sitting now at the right hand, drinking tea every morning. The Bible says, so he's able to say fully from now throughout eternity, everyone who comes to God through him, because he lives to pray continually. For them try if Jesus is praying I will pray I will pray I will pray if I don't pray Satan will make me I will pray I will pray I will pray if I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. If Jesus can pray, oh. if Jesus can pray, oh. Pastor Jerry can pray. Who am I not to pray? I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make us of don't, don't, don't even joke with it. This is what Jesus saw and he looked at Simon Peter. And he said, Satan has desire to have you. To save you like wheat. But guess what? I have prayed for you. The supernatural thrives on prayer. The Bible speaks about Epaphras. The Bible says he labors in prayers. The Bible speaks about Elijah. He prayed earnestly. Each and every one of them, every of their prayer provoked the supernatural. And somebody is looking at you. Men, if you want to see supernatural, pray. The vice president 
of Billy Graham Association. He said to me yesterday, when we're in the meeting, and he said, Pastor Jerry, the reason why we're looking for you is because they asked Billy Graham, and this man I'm talking about, oh, look, they are not young people, they are very old people. He said, he said, they asked Billy Graham, what is your secret? That they were asking him, what is the secret to all that has been going on around you? And he said, number one, I pray. Number two, I pray. And the last one is, I pray. He said, everything you see around me, everything you see around me is a product of prayer. And he said, Pastor Jerry, you represent what Billy Graham stood for. And that is prayer. People of God, I wake up, I pray. I sleep, I pray. I'm inside the car, I pray. I will pray, I will pray. I will pray, oh, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make us you, 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 you are still making them feel like you are not a prayer person. You are still making them feel they are not a You give them a ride in your car and you are driving them, start praying. Uh -uh. Fine guy like this. Are you a church person? Reply them, I'm not a church person. I'm a supernatural person. I'm supernatural. So don't, don't limit me by saying, people of God, that's who you are. Pray. Pray. Every five minutes you have, pray. Ten minutes you have, pray. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Pray. Rikabado koshibada. Likade sokoto balabara. Ribade koto. Ten minutes before you sleep off in the night, pray. You are giving your children a bath. Pray. You are cooking soup. Pray. You are arriving at the office. Pray. Wherever you find yourself, pray. The supernatural thrives in the place of prayer. Am I communicating? And people of God, the lower your prayer life is going, the more you are reducing your supernatural network. Why does prayer look so easy yet so hard? I have my mouth. How so easy it is to sit down or be on the phone and just with someone for one hour from one gist to another. Some of them at the end of the day useless. Useless. Oh yeah, make a pray now. Then prayer will be hard. You now open your mouth. My father, my lord. The devil will tell you I better keep quiet. Even this your tongues now. It's not even passing the ceiling of your ass. He said, yes, I wake up in the night. I will wake up. Ah, yeah, ba, 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 she, ba, 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 ba. So, ba, 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 and close your eyes. And the next day, to pray. Why is it difficult? The supernatural thrives with prayer. Am I communicating? I'm people of God. I have a lot to say. But let me say this to everyone who wants to walk in the supernatural. Remember, you are already supernatural. You are not a natural being trying to get into the realm of the supernatural. You are not a natural being trying to enter the portal of the supernatural. You are already inside the portal. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. You are now making the supernatural evident in the natural. For you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. That is where you are. That is where you are. So from there is where you are downloading the supernatural into the natural realm. I'm not communicating. Let that be at the back of your mind. So don't think I'm a natural person trying to manifest the supernatural. No, sir. You are already supernatural. Downloading 
into the natural realm. So when you start praying, you are not Jerry praying from the earth to heaven. Ooh. It might offend some religious sensibilities. But you're already Jerry in the throne of God. Every meeting is a boardroom conversation on what should happen on earth. The Father is not far from you. In Him you move. In Him you live. In Him you have your being. So I'm not on earth speaking into the air that the devil can hijack my prayer. No, I am far above principality and powers. So when I pray, that is where I am. I and God and the angels who are there, we begin to execute on the next thing. See, if you can change your mindset about where you are when you pray, it will change everything about your answer. You are not praying from earth, so your village people can stop it. Who them be? You are not praying from, from earth. So that pastor, eh, it is one eh, while my prayer was going on. While my prayer was going on, my uncle, my uncle, my uncle from the village just sent one thing. And then he, he, he just took on my prayer and he put it inside the, his, his pocket that is in the village and sat down on it. Your prayer. Your prayer, they never burn out. They know burn out where. This is where you are, seated with Christ, executing His will and His agenda on earth. If you allow me, I'll continue. Rise on your feet. Would you lift up your two hands wherever you are? Speak in the Holy Ghost, please. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Not like you're speaking from earth to heaven, but like you know that hey, hey, rana bado shika. Liba da ba 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 ruko to sebede ya. Rande be do kosuba la da da ba shakoto la. Rekidende be do sokota da ba la ba 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 ba. Ratu bali koshi ba da da. Rekoto ba la da da. Rekita la ba ba sukoto da. Rekolo boro ba ba shekete. Rende be de kolo suba da da. Rapa da ba la ba 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 suka. Rende be somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. Ekoto debele, rakoto balade yada, rakoto shebede, rakete bele yada bala baba ba, rakoba di yada bala ba, atuko de lekida sha, rabi yada bala baba ba, rakoto bolu sukoto do, rande bala kusha bala, rakita da, rabi yado se lekete. Rakotuba li shakada balede, rakotuba lo se, rakapata, rakapata, rapatoko, leketebe, ishakada, lebiada, rakatuba, rapadaba, rakapa, rakotuba lo se, rekitada, lebiada ba tokopa, rataba, 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 bala, ishakada ba, lakopora bala bala. Rekitebiada, isha papa, rekopotia, lekitebia, isha bana ba, rakatuba, rebiada, isha kada, rapadika, ekepete, 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 isha kada, alabania, isukoto, ila bana ba, asha kina, rekete, elabiada, blasting on the tongues, speaking the holy. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Rakata, Lakida, Ashabadi, Akado, Alemene, Ataya, 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 Akadabia, Elada, Steer the fire, Steer the fire. You 
Kuwa supernatural. Akadoya. He love ya. He make it his angel spirit and his ministers. Flames of fire. Flames of fire. Flames of fire. You are a flame of fire. You are a flame of fire. Find the fire. Find the fire. Find the fire. Radebe. Leketea. He abba. He korasa. Elaya. Esheke. Elabia. Ereko. Asada. Elabia. Rakata. Rakata. Lebiada. Asheka. Ratoba. Lekeda. Elaya. Isaka. Letebe. Rabia. You are supernatural. Somebody pray. Unstoppable. Inconquerable. Unquenchable. Uncomfortable. You are supernatural. Layata. Rebecca. Ita. 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 Rakata. Alabia. You are supernatural. No shackle. No bondage. No covering. No curse. Nakita. Labia. Ishaka. You are supernatural. No evil ordinance. No enchantment. Ikala. Hey. Hey. Rakatoa. Lakata. Ayaba. Ishaka. Lata. 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 Akata. Elia. Elia. Atola. Raka. Asana. Alabia. Rakato. Rabia. Ikalata. Irababa. Atala. 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 Ikara. Asaba. Atalia. Rabia. Isaba. Akoto. Alata. Asaka. Ilakata. Alabia. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Let the supernatural. Let it take over. Let it take over. In your family. In your office. Let the supernatural. Let it take over. Hey. 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 Rakatea. Labia. Atata. 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 Rakata. Heya. 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 Rakata. Rababa. Atata. Ilabia. Irakata. Isata. Ilaba. Atata. Ilata. 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 Asakata. Ikota. Alabia. Rako. Rase. Elato. Irakea. Isaba. Let your heaven rise higher. Let your heaven rise higher. You are supernatural, unstoppable, uncoverable, inconquerable. You are supernatural. Rise, 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 rise. You are supernatural. I say, so I, so I, so I, so I, so I, so I, so I. You are supernatural. Let the waters rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You are supernatural. Let the atmosphere. Let it change. Let it change. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let your image turn now. Let your image turn now. Somebody turn I am in charge. I am in charge. I am in charge. I am in charge. Say today, I announce. I am supernatural. I am supernatural. I am supernatural. Today, contenders against my journey right now. Asada, 
I didn't hear you screaming. Don't I am supernatural. I am supernatural. Say I am no longer where I was. Say I am supernatural. I am supernatural. Call your name and say, Jerry. You are supernatural. If you believe in let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen turn the louder. I announce you are supernatural. You are about to go Your neighbor still thinks he's a human being that is standing next to him or her. If only they knew her. If only they knew her. Rabba Dikata. Your life is hidden in Christ. And Christ and God. Adiba Kotona. Erebi Adabala. Adikosha. Is there someone who knows? You are beyond their destruction. You are beyond their chance. You are beyond their enchantment. You are beyond their evil predictions. Ikolabala. Is there a supernatural? Is there a supernatural? Ikalaba. Begotten of God. Button breaker. Psycho destroyer. Ikalabala. Are you in this house? Raise your voice. Give the Lord a loud shout. Glory. 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 Give the Lord a loud shout. Somebody help me turn to say I am not normal. Can you help me declare? Say, I refuse to be normal. Somebody talk back to me. Say, if I am normal, say they will catch me. If you understand the shell fire, somebody shall say, I am not normal. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames of fire. Tell your neighbor, I'm a flame. Oh. I am a flame of fire. I am a flame of fire. Tell your neighbor, let me tell you another one. We are the word of a king is there is power. Tell your neighbor, I am a royal priesthood. Tell your neighbor when I talk, power, 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 power. Tell your neighbor I am supernatural. Tell your neighbor the scripture says ye are gods. Tell your neighbor, I am a God. Oh, that was a wrong neighbor. Leave that neighbor. Get in the face of another. Tell them, I am a God. Say, I am a God. Say anything that is not of God. When it meets me, it will bow. Say, even as I am talking, they are bowing. They are bowing. They are bowing. They are bowing. Tell your neighbor, I am supernatural. It may happen to others. It will not happen to me. Tell your neighbor I am supernatural. The way their story is ended is not the way my story will end. Tell your neighbor I am supernatural. I know who I am. Tell your neighbor I am bigger than the color of my skin. I am bigger than my height. I am bigger than my weight. Tell your neighbor I am supernatural. A giant, a big giant is standing next to you. Celebrate who you are. Celebrate Yakapada Rakotona. He shada. He koraba. He shadaba. Give the Lord a loud shout. You are supernatural. No ordinance. No ordinance. Rabia. Who wrote it? Who wrote it? Who wrote it? Rakata. Rakata. Lebia. Ishaka. Ishaka. Atala. Irabi. Ikala. Arato. Atab. Alakoto. Aranabia. Ashana. Lakoto. Rabia. Atala. Atako. Alabia. Atalia. Irako. Toba. Ashadabia. Alatoya. Arababa. Ikatoya. Alabia. Ata. 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 Ashadabia. Arakata. Ilaya. Rapatoya. Rakatoa. 
Alabia, Ashada, Atala, Arabia, Akoto, Alaya, Asadea, Atala, Rameto, Asabe, Alaka, Alabia, Asada, Atala, Arabia, let your remit on the louder. Let your image rise higher. I announce you are supernatural. Walk upon your high places. You are supernatural. As you move, answers. As you move, evidence. Turn around. You are supernatural. Your generation is waiting for your manifestation. I say shine, 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 shine. You are supernatural. Take the over. Take us mantra, overtake us mantra, overtake us mantra, right now, right now, you are supernatural, infirmity cannot stay, affliction cannot stay, delay cannot stay, you are supernatural, you bear upon your body, the mark of Christ, you are supernatural, the crown is on your head, the crown is on your head, the crown is on your head, you are supernatural, turn around, turn around, turn around, Right now, right now, right now, right now, you are supernatural. Your lights are following to you in place and places. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. you are supernatural. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Right now, right now, you are supernatural. You are removing fire. Moving fire, a moving fire, a moving fire, a moving fire, a moving fire. You are supernatural as you pray. Everything aligns, everything aligns, everything aligns. You are supernatural. Let the mountains melt, let them melt, let them melt, let them melt on your accord. Right now, right now. Let somebody turn the fire. Somebody scream fire. Somebody shout fire. Say today, I announce there is a well. There is a well in my inner man. There is a well in me. I am a carrier of a well of the fullness of God. I carry the well of the fullness of God. In a man, oh, you well, oh, you well, in my inside, you cannot be dormant, oh, you well, oh, you well, hear me now, begin to bubble, begin to spring, 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 now, now, oh, you well, oh, you well, oh, you well, in my inner man, rise, 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 rise. Inside of you, let the well rise. Let the well rise. Your generation is waiting for your manifestation. Let the well, let it rise. 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 Let it rise. Let it rise. It can have a car. It's a car. It's a Let your image on the louder. 
I announce, let the well rise. Let the well rise. You carry the word of healing. Let it rise. Word of knowledge. Let it rise. Word of fire. Let it rise. Word of discernment. Let it rise. Word of deliverance. Let it rise. You carry. You carry. Well. Well. Let it begin to pop. Let it begin to pop. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I announce you are supernatural. Wherever you enter, you possess. 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 The gate of your enemies. You are supernatural. You will not bow your head down the shape. You are supernatural. Shake off the dust. Shake off the dust. Shake it off. 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 You are supernatural. You are a great light. You are a great light. Shine. 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 You are supernatural. No chain. No shackle. No bondage. No limitation. No drawback. You are supernatural. Move ahead. 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 You are supernatural. Let angels. Let them announce you. Let them announce you. Let them announce you. Let them announce you. You are supernatural. Let everything. Let it align. 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 You are supernatural. When you show up, they will bow. They will bow. You are supernatural. You are bigger than where you are. Break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You are supernatural. The season you pray for is finally here. It's finally here. It's finally here. It's finally here. You are supernatural. Unstoppable. Unquenchable. Unconquerable. You are supernatural. Deliverance for your father's house. You are supernatural. New chapters. New chapters. New chapters of victory. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. The hope of many generations. A subtraction instrument. A battle lives in the hands of the Lord. That is who you are. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Be more than you imagined. Be more than you thought about. You are supernatural. Your season is here. Your time is now. Your season is here. Your time is now. Sakopala. Is there someone who knows you are supernatural? Is there someone who knows you are Rabiada, is that how supernatural people? Is that how they shout? Rekotoy, Rabiada, Iraba. The devil is angry when you celebrate. For even your praise is a weapon. Even your shout is a weapon. Even your screaming is a weapon. The walls are falling. The walls are falling. The walls are falling. Yakata, Rabea, is Shada, is Shada, is Shada, is Shako, and Tabea, and Labia, and Rakata. If God be for you, 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 throw your head back. Give the Lord a loud shout. Somebody lift up your right hand. Can you shout Exegorazo? Is there someone who knows what I am talking about? Shout it again, Exegorazo. Lift up your right and say today. Hear me, heaven and earth. I have been redeemed. And I declare, I redeem my time. I redeem every year I lost to devil, to delay, to sin, to disease, to affliction. Exegorazo, 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 Exegorazo. Let me hear you shout fire, 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 fire. Because you want your yes back, take it right now, take it right now. Your healing, your deliverance, your joy, your health, you are supernatural.
Ephra. We will not take no for an answer. Who can When the thief is caught, he will be made to restore. Sevenfold. Rakapia. Rabiana. Irakasa. It's not about you. It's about your brother. It's about your sister. We redeem their time. Give us back their joy. Give us back their health. Give us back. Rakata. Isaba. Ilakata. Irabia. We the love voice on the restore. Is there someone who wants to use another 30 seconds and celebrate your God? Celebrate your God. Celebrate your God. For when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Let me hear you. Give the Lord a shout. Glory! Woo! The devil is a past. My God! My God! My God! Woo! Woo! Wherever you are, when you open your scriptures to the book of We read the book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 32. Glory to God. Mark, chapter 14, verse 32. Somebody shall say, I'm supernatural. Ay, yeah, yeah. That sounded like you didn't know who you were. Somebody screaming again, say, I am supernatural. So we're going to read the book of Mark, chapter 14. And we're going to read from verse 32. People of God, from verse 32. All the way to verse 38. And then we will run to the book of Luke, chapter 9. Now, Luke, interestingly, has a different account, slightly different account from what Matthew and Mark reported here. But then again, we are going to find a fusion between their different accounts. And then we will arrive at what God wants us to know today. Glory to God. Please talk back to me and shout, I am supernatural. I am supernatural. So, the book of Mark, chapter 14, and we'll start reading from verse 32. To 38. At the count of three, can we read together, church? One to go, one to three. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he saith unto his disciples, Sit ye here while I shall pray. And he taketh with him Peter and James and John, and began to be so amazed and to be very heavy. And said unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what thou will. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping. Said unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldest not thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest he enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. Let's go down to verse 40. And again he went away and prayed and spake the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Neither wish they what to answer him. So people of God, we're going to run gl gl gloriously to the book of Luke chapter 9. And interestingly, we will start reading from verse 28. Again, one to go. And it came to pass about an eight days after this saints. He took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. And his raiment was white and glistering. And behold, there talked with him two men, which were Moses and Elias, who appeared in glory and spake of his disease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory 
and the two men that stood with him. And it came to pass as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. While he thus spake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them. And they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone. And they kept it close and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us. Let there be none of any man but all of you. Have your way, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Would you lift up your right hand and declare, say, I love the word of God. Say, it is the compass for my living. Say, I love the word of God. Say, it is the foundation of my existence. Say, as I speak the word, great and mighty things happen. Say, as I hear the word, my faith is built to create an atmosphere for the supernatural. If you understand it, thunder it louder. Amen. Before you take your seat, help me walk up to seven neighbors. Can I give them a high turn and tell them you are supernatural? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are supernatural. You are supernatural. You got to tell them that. You are supernatural. You are supernatural. You are supernatural. You're supernatural. You're supernatural. You're supernatural. And if you have completed the cycle of seven, uh, would you say to yourself and call yourself by name and say, Jerry, you are supernatural. Please take your seat in the presence of the Lord. I've often told you that no one lives in the side of creation and choose and would choose to conquer the cosmos uh, wearing the same garment of the flesh that is existent in the side of the creation. Nobody will ever be called distinct, exceptional, more than a conqueror when it operates by the rules of this cosmos. I have said to you, the earth is already structured to remove God. Did you hear what I just said? It is structured in a way that people can live from day to day without God and they can thrive. That is why it is called supernatural. The only way for there to be a God statement is when the supernatural, the word itself superimposes. Did you hear what I just said? Superimposes on the natural. And people of God, permit me to also say that this second week, I am going to use it to lay foundation, hopefully, hoping I don't go off tangent in getting to Yanoa. But I want you to understand this. I would say, there are three types of men. Number one is the natural man. And these are men born into families. These are men that understand their biological makeup. They understand and they know the name of their family. They know where they were born. They know everything about themselves they are well acquainted with nature people of God they know their fathers they know their mothers they know the way they know that today is exactly what date right what was today's date they know the 12th of September they know that tomorrow is going to be 13th of September they are they also could be vast in their area of learning natural men if you sit back and ask the natural man, one plus one, the natural man will ask you, why kind of stupid question are you asking me? One plus one is supposed to be what? Two. That is natural man. But they are not the main thing. Then they say, yet another set of men that I will call the supernatural man, which you and I have been discussing. People of God, they have been begotten by the Lord. 
They've given their lives to Christ. They operate by the principles of heaven. They are sensitive to the spiritual stimuli. People of God, they understand the times and seasons. They understand they do not operate from nature to eternity, but they operate from eternity to nature. Do you understand what I'm saying? They understand that their breath is prayer. And people of God, they inhale the presence of God and they exhale the presence of God. They understand that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. People of God, notice they are not just mindful about the gifts. They are also very excited about the fruits of the Spirit. Did you hear what I just said? Supernatural man. People of God, they do not just celebrate exploit, but they are in love with fellowship. Did you hear what I just said? They understand that whatever will work in the public space must be consolidated in the secret place. Did you understand what I just said? They understand that the will of God is priority for them above every other thing else. People of God, they embody and exemplify that scripture that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and other things shall be added unto you. Am I communicating? However, you cannot shackle them. However, they will never agree to the devil. However, they understand that they are in a warfare with the enemy. They understand that they need to war a good warfare as good soldiers of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are also aware that daily they must wear the helmet of salvation. They should never miss the breastplate of righteousness. They would never forget the shield of faith they will never forget their belt of truth and people of God they understand they must have their feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and above all they will not forget the sword of the spirit but if you are so mindful they also understood that the scriptures did not give any weapon for their back and so whenever they are fighting they never turn away to run because they understand that if they turn their back on the enemy an arrow will get to their back so people of God when they face a difficulty all they tell the devil is no retreat, no sorrow however I am worried about this other type of man and these are carnal men they have accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. But they are not growing in Christ. Their Bibles are forever closed. They get excited about the acts of God more than the ways of God. They are ruled by the lust of the flesh. Lost of the eyes and the pride of life. They move from being forever baby Christians to nominal Christians to religious Christians to critical Christians. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. They are forever baby Christians. From that plight of baby Christians, they become nominal Christians. From nominal Christians to religious Christians. From being religious Christians. They now take another seat. Critical Christians. These are those. That are Pharisaic in nature. They have. They eat the leaven of the Pharisees. That's the only way I can describe it. It is easy to just look at it and say now wow. But let me tell you. The moment you stop growing, chances are that carnality has set in. Seasons where you feel your love for God growing cold, chances are that carnality have set in. Seasons where you're no longer excited about the presence of God, chances are that carnality has set in. 
You know the one that shocks me is when the Bible says, for to be carnally minded is death. How can a man be alive? And the scriptures will declare you dead. So when carnality begins to, because people of God, you find that the carnal men, their appetites are always different. These are the Bible, the people the Bible will speak about and say, you are not hot, you are not cold. And scripture says, I will spew you out of my mouth. Because the Lord wants to know that at least you are cold. Let me know how to help you. Or you be hot, they are not hot. The Lord said, I will spew you out of my mouth. Can our believers, they know about the move of God, but they are never a part of it. They can tell about what God is doing, but they never position themselves to be a part of it. Don't even doubt it. Most times they can operate with the gift of the Spirit, but the fruit of the Spirit will be totally missing in their life. Can our believers? They build a shield for themselves as far as the word is coming. So, once the word is coming, they use the shield of their doubts and fear. The word says, I want to gain a trance. They use their shield, knock off the word. They are never growing. They watch new people come into God and they take a flight in the spirit. And then when they become critical believers, any believer that shows zeal, any believer that is excited about God, don't you know that we are here before you came? Don't worry. The same way you are doing, when you finish doing, you will calm down. We will calm down. We were all like this when we came. Watch them. Did you hear what I just said? I'm taking time to tell you about these people. Because I believe you are not one of them. Amen. And so, because my generation wants to see this God and know this God the way we are known, the honors lies on the supernatural believer spiritual men to download what heaven has in store in the agenda of heaven to men who are waiting. Don't ever buy that idea that people no longer love God. Don't ever buy the idea that many people, as I speak, more persons are getting born again. Am I talking to someone? As I speak, more persons are desiring. I'm not saying that they are desiring miracles. More persons are desiring to know Jesus. But I want you to know that they want to see something that will convince them that Jesus is real. But this can only happen if more supernatural men will not just rise, but rise and take their place. So it becomes important now that we find this particular story uh, one of the moments where we saw the supernatural literally happening in the life of Jesus as he went to the mount to pray. The Bible said as he began to pray, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his garment became glistering. People of God, he prayed. The Bible said they appeared unto him in glory, Moses and Elias. And they spoke of his demise, which he was to accomplish in Jerusalem. But when he was done, interestingly, Mark gives us a very interesting account. He comes out and meets his disciples and says to them, so you people couldn't wait with me, even if it is one hour. He goes back again to pray. And then he prays more. He comes out again. He still meets them sleeping. This time around, they had nothing to say. The one that broke my heart, if you read further down, he told them, go ahead and sleep. May you not continue in a way that heaven will now tell you, go ahead. Just anything that you want to do, go ahead and do. I think I've been pulling your ear, warning you. Heaven will come and say, don't sleep. 
you don't sleep. There's, 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 there's something that is about to be unveiled. Yes, Lord. And then they will sleep off. But Jesus, when he knew the time had come, he told them, go ahead and sleep. Who knows how God wanted to structure them into a plan? Who knew what heaven had in, in store for Peter? But he was sleeping. And heaven says, go ahead and sleep. Sir, let me share with you a fusion of these two scriptures. Five things that will stand out for a man who wants to live and operate in the supernatural. Remember, the natural man cannot operate here. The carnal man needs revival. I'm talking about the supernatural man. When God wants to break, cause an outbreak of the supernatural on a higher level, most times it comes with a burden. Burden can either be God generated or situation driven. So there are seasons where you are going to feel in your spirit a burden. You are burdened. Heaven is laying a burden in your heart. You are not, you don't have a problem. It's not like there's a problem. But you feel, there's a burden to pray. There's a burden to search the scripture. There's a burden. You just get on your knees and you're praying and you're crying. And you're praying and you don't have a problem. You just sense a burden in your pack here. If you ever encounter that, I beg of you, don't misuse it. Don't misuse it. If you're a man of the spirit following the word, you are not allowing worry and anxiety to be in your heart. And you wake up one morning and you're just feeling, after praying, I feel a burden in my spirit. Uh -huh. I want to tell you, don't misuse it. Don't misuse it. God is about to bet something. Am I communicating? Yes, go and check the scriptures. Go and check the prophetic men of old. Every time God was about to set them up on a higher level, the first thing he gives them is what? Burden. People of God, without burden, prayer will not have substance. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Without burden, I'm telling you the truth. I was sharing with my staff a few days, um, a bit too, yesterday, and I said to them, a pastor called me and he said to me, Pastor Jerry, be honest with me. What is your secret? How do you, what is this thing? What, what brings this thing? He said, please just open up to me. Don't lie. Just tell me things the way they are. I recall telling him that one of the things that I never do, I never show up any morning without a burden. If you don't have burden for your assignment, when you come out here, you'll be releasing empty words. The burden God places on you is what he uses to reach to the depths of your soul. To bring out what he has placed in the inside of you. Sir, don't criticize a man's zeal if you don't know his body. Did you hear what I just said right now? Pakendo Sotola. Some people didn't choose their assignment, the assignment chose them. Because of the kind of body the Lord has placed on them. If you're a man walking in purpose, it doesn't necessarily have to be people in ministry or any. If you're a man walking in purpose, if you have done business for a while, done ministry for a while, and you don't have a body, and the Lord is not putting a body in your, you don't feel a, oh, how do I describe body? Body is body. Burden is heaven introducing part of their agenda in your spirit man and introducing the hopelessness of your flesh to make it work. So when heaven introduces an agenda to your spirit and all of a sudden your flesh knows that, listen, you cannot accomplish this thing. No? Sometimes you know what it is, sometimes you don't know what it is. That is when the burden rises. But sometimes the burden can rise from situations you're facing. Sometimes it's a bad news you heard that gives you a burden. But God says to me to let you know, whenever burden comes, 
know that it is a raw material for the supernatural to happen. Don't waste your burden. When the burden comes, convert it to prayer. Am I talking to someone? When the body comes, pray until your spirit man has a release. People of God, there are burdens that will come in your spirit. You don't pray such prayers with words. You pray it in the Holy Ghost. The beginning of most supernatural works begins with a burden. Am I communicating? So, sir, there are burdens that God is placing in your heart. When God puts a burden in your heart, you sit down and start, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm depressed. I'm emotionally imbalanced. I have bipolar. I I I am I am what's the what, what's that thing? I am mentally and we go from one thing to another without understanding is a burden. Your burden is a call from the supernatural. And the Lord is saying, can this guy know what I'm doing? Can this lady know why I brought this body? Can they, because I'm looking for who I can trust. To call the 911 of heaven. I'm looking, I'm looking for who I can trust. That will say, no, 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 no. Things will not continue like this. I'm looking for who I can trust. This is the reason why I brought the burden. I didn't bring the burden because I hate you. I didn't bring the burden because I don't have a plan for you. I didn't bring the burden because other people are better than you are. But I brought the burden because I know I can trust you. I brought the burden because I know I you will keep praying I brought the burden because you will listen for my voice I brought the burden because you will discern what I am doing in the now I brought the burden because I know you will not waste everything that I have taught you I brought the burden because I know your heart will be open to my instructions can I pray for someone here any burden in your spirit man at the sound of your amen, let it lead to a supernatural explosion. My abado kushenera, randa balekete. Can I give you thirty seconds to speak in the Holy Ghost? Rene beko to na baraba, esheke do lebiya, raba ba 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 soka. Lene biya ne bere kusada, isha katola, radi ba katoya, raba ba ba, raba do koto, leke debiya, isha kodiya. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. My God. Please mark this. Remember I say, when heaven places a burden in your spirit, is a call from sovereignty for you to place yet another call to the 911 of heaven. The psalmist says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. When I feel a burden in my spirit, it must direct me to the rock that is higher than I. When I feel a burden, I should not start crying endlessly. I should not start calling people on the phone one after the other. Let me tell you, there were some things that happened to you. You thought, why am I sick? God is not tempted with evil. But hear me. God may have allowed this to bring out your healing ministry. There are things that your family faced. And then you are busy complaining. Why are other families better than my own family? 
And God says, you don't know why the burden came. It came because I wanted to use you to break this so that I can bring out your deliverance ministry. There's a reason for the burden. Don't wish away your burden. There's a purpose behind the burden. Am I communicating? This is what I always will tell people. You see this face, it will pass. That's the truth. My excitement is not that God, whether God is going to give you a miracle or not. Even if you don't want one, you're in an atmosphere of miracle. So you will get one. But you see, that is not just my excitement for you. My excitement is who you become through this process. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. If you understood me, can you thunder it louder? Amen. Yeah. Sir, you see the supernatural? The supernatural. It has an atmosphere. Jesus goes to pray. And he takes two men. Um, Peter, James, and John. Sorry, three. And say to them, well, he took a lot. But at some point, he asked those ones to stop. And then took these ones deeper. And then, and he says, please pray with me. For my soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. My prayer is, when you feel this way, may God bring men that will support you. Because even Jesus, even Jesus, felt it. Jesus needed people. He said, my heart, my heart is breaking. My heart is breaking. Just, just stand in prayer for me. My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. You can imagine what will make him. He will pray small. He will come out and then check. He says, oh, you people can't even pray with me. Up to one hour. You can't even pray with me. And he says, yes, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. If your trust is in man. Woe unto them that put their trust in the arm of the flesh. People of God. Hear me again. Jesus took them to pray. For Jesus to take them to pray. And this prayer is for Jesus. It's not for them. Watch with me. Please pray. My, my heart is overwhelmed. And Jesus goes in to pray. They slept off on him. The same master that has been there for you. The same master that has taught you. If men can sleep off on Jesus. Then I can bet you. The most trusted person. Can sleep off your life. And Jesus. Comes back again. When he finishes speaking to them. And you feel like they will understand. As soon as Jesus left, they slept off again. And Jesus came back. That moment, you can imagine how frustrated he felt. He said, you know what? Sleep on. Whatever I needed you for, the time has passed. But see what I'm saying. Jesus' humanity chose these three disciples. When he began to pray. Heaven sent him to men. Did you hear what I just said? His humanity chose men. But in the place of prayer, God released two men that he needed that spoke about his purpose. Spoke about what the Bible said they appeared in glory. I want to say this to you. For you to operate in the supernatural, you must intentionally make your circle the circle of glory men and glory women. I said it to you, everybody and anyone who walks into your life is walking in with an atmosphere. People, there's nothing like this person is just normal. Nobody is normal again. Everyone that is coming into your life is either coming in with a wind of favor or coming in with a wind of delay. 
everyone coming into your life is either coming with fire or they are coming in with a demonic presence. The Lord sent Moses and Elias. Allow the Lord to choose your friends. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you have entered that season where you cannot just choose friends. Mm. Yes. You've entered that season where you cannot just like them because they like you. You've entered that season where not because they found you exciting, you now become vulnerable to them. You've entered there. As they start knocking on your door, take your time to say to God, should I open the door for them? Makotona, iron sharpens iron, so a man's countenance that of his fellow. Am I communicating? People of God, there are those who are fire extinguishers. You don't need them in your life. There's a super... Ayako Borosi Ara. Hey, Seletosha. Rende Bekoto Laba. Kerata. We need a Paul and Silas. While one is singing, another is praying. Rende Bekoro Shebe Dabala. Eredi Balakosha. We need a Peter and John going into the temple. Redi Bakasa. And they will boldly look at the man at the beautiful gate and say, Look on us. Do you have that one person in your circle that you can pick up and call on the phone? And they will tell you, Relax. You see this matter? God got it. Relax. I'm going to be with you on the altar of fire. And we will keep mentioning, do you have that one person? Not those who will tell you, don't worry. But you know they are not committed. The supernatural requires atmosphere. It requires atmosphere. And may, when God blesses you with glory, man. You can find them anywhere. Every day is not gist. Some days might just be speaking the Holy Ghost. You and your friends started laughing, you know? It was supposed to be normal laugh. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm doing well. Hi, your children. <laughs> you reply, Mokorobo Shepete. I say, Lima Nabakotola. Your friend replies, Iban Kontoba. Like play, like play. Speaking in tongues has started. Like play, like play, 10 minutes has gone. No. Like play, like play. You need that kind of relationship. You call a friend on the phone and say, you know what? I'm never going to talk to this person again for the rest of the year. When the wrong atmosphere is around, you say, <laughs> I've been telling you. He said to the end of the year, please don't talk to the person again for the rest of your life. They have only packaged you for hellfire. But you need to reply and let them know. You need someone in your life. I'm not going to talk to this person. And the person go like, you know what? You know what? This doesn't sound like God. It really doesn't sound like God right now. I know you may not want to hear this. You must have a supernatural person in your atmosphere. Am I communicating? People of God, remember relationship. Relationship. He chose the men that slept off on him. Heaven sent him the men that stood by him. Did you hear what I just said? He chose the man, but heaven sent him the men. Heaven sent us men who will walk through the part of destiny with us. Send us men to whom you have placed ideas and creativity for it. Send us men who in your weakness they will hold your hand. Send us men who will pray through with you and stand. Send us men 
who will not make your secret a banner headline. And people of God, hear me, coasting in the supernatural. The Bible says, as Jesus began to pray, the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering. Hmm. This scripture would make more sense if you understood this other scripture. We all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord and are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the Lord so sir you might probably think that what happened there was that his, the fashion of his countenance was altered but if you look at Corinthians you will understand in that moment the sonship of Jesus was beholding the face of the Father. And he was being changed into the image of the Father. And I want to say to every man that wants to walk in the supernatural, where are your eyes at? 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 Your eyes cannot be on fear when you want to do an exploit of faith. Your eyes cannot be on doubt. When you want to produce an evidence of the miraculous. Every day the devil wants you to remove your eyes from what matters. But tell, your, tell the devil with an open face. I am beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. And I am changed. What do I see when I face situations? What do I see in my family right now? What am I seeing with what I am going through? What am I seeing where I am? What am I seeing where I am? What am I pokotu the yada? Rande besu koto laba. In the yadobo so koto laba shada. Remember, so kota. With an open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. Somebody call your name and say, Jerry. Keep your eyes on God. Say it again like you mean it. Say, Jerry. Keep your eyes on God. Say it again. Say, Jerry. Keep your eyes on God. So, people of God, if you want to coast in the earth, people of God, a man started a journey with looking at Jesus. Started a journey looking at Jesus. He was walking on water. He was walking on water. He started a journey. He was looking on Jesus. And he was walking all of a sudden. He felt the waves under his feet. As soon as he felt the waves under the feet. People of God, you know the problem is not necessarily that Peter removed his eyes. But what is the issue is what happened to him when he removed his eyes. Don't miss this. You might just say, Lord, but what is wrong if, if I remove my eyes? What is wrong if I don't have a quiet time in the morning? What is wrong if I don't, if I don't just, if I pray? I, what is even wrong? Is, is it that bad? Is it that, what I am afraid of is what will happen when you remove your eyes. The Bible says, when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. The devil said, hey, hey, this is the reason why this guy has to sink. This is the reason why he has to sink. But the devil, once he let something enter, he would have succeeded in why he made you remove your eyes. 
Where are your eyes at? When you meet a dead man, where are your eyes at? I'm talking to you. When they give you the report of cancer, I know you are reading it, but where are your eyes at? Where, your eye, where are your eyes at? When you look at your bank statement, where are your eyes at? Where are your eyes at? <laughs> I know I'm not making sense. Pastor, how will you be saying that? I'm reading a, I'm reading a medical report and you're still asking me where, my, where are my eyes at? Pikora bashivara. Mekoto labarasha. But you know you can see something without looking at it. Did I make sense? There's a difference. I saw it, but I didn't look at it. You can see those things, but where you are looking at is looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Am I talking to someone? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I saw it, but I didn't look at it. Only you know what you're saying. Say it again to your neighbor. Say, I saw it. Say, but I am not looking at it. Can you say it again? Say, I saw it. Say, but I am not looking at it. For the last time, can you declare it? Say, I saw it, but I am not looking at it. Can you say it again? I saw it, but I am not looking at it. People of God. Where are your eyes? You are going to be 38 by your next birthday. I saw it, but I'm not looking at it. I know where my eyes are on. None of you shall lack a bit. Yeah, yeah. This report the doctor gave doesn't really look good. I saw it, <laughs> but I'm not looking at it. I understand that my eyes are gateways. What I allow will affect the quality of my destiny. Am I communicating? So don't forget that for his garment to be glistering and raiment. Corinthians tells us the reason why it was that way. And maybe I will tidy up on this note. He made a prayer and said, Lord, if it is be possible, if it be possible, let this cup pass by me. I don't want this. But then he turned and he said, not my will but I will be done so the first thing he was saying was not God's will let me say what Jesus said in other English with the first prayer he made Lord I don't want your will but I've heard why he now said not my will, but I will be done. Let me tell you, see this prayer that Jesus prayed. Some of us are stuck there. Because of how long a matter has lasted, the more you read the scriptures, you know that this thing is not in the will of God. This thing I'm going through is not in the will of God. Don't accept it. There are things that are happening and you know that the supernatural is always in tandem with the will of God. Am I communicating? Jesus came to that point where he said, you know what, Lord? Not my will. I am here to enforce your will. I am here to make sure that your will reign. I don't just want to take it from the sanctimonious point of, not my will, but your will be done. I know, but there are things that are the will of the Lord in your life, but they have not yet happened. With a loud voice, shall say, I enforce it by fire. Maybe I'm not talking to everyone, but there are people who are here. You know what the will of the Lord is. In one area of your life or the other, 
lift up your right hand can you declare my father my father I didn't hear you turn to say my father my father say today I enforce your will I enforce your will over my life right now right now right now say my father my father right now I enforce your will over my life right now 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 open your mouth record of Allah is shakote bea lekoda bana bana rakosi bana bana lekora bana bana shia lekote ba rabana bana ba let the will of God for your marriage let the will of God for your children let the will of God for your health let the will of God for your career let the will of God for your academics let the will of God for the city you live in let it be enforced 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 the will of the enemy will not prevail the will of man will not prevail the will of your health will not prevail he karaba he sakota he rabala rakotoba rababa he shada antako elabia rakotia he shadaba arakata alabiada asokote rabiada ashaka alabia ekotola rabiada ashako alabada let your amen turn the louder today we decree that the will of the lord is done go and coast in the supernatural go and coast in the supernatural i decree it is done let your amen turn the louder i wish your amen will rise higher With your two hands lifted, I want to pray for you. Let every burden. Some have carried this burden for a while. You sought answers for this burden. Let every burden. Burden in your family, burden in your health burden you don't even understand where it is coming from burden it has hit you back to back you're wondering lord what's this what's going on you've been trying to be strong to give all kinds of reasons no matter the burden it is at the sound of your amen let it begin to bet the supernatural I said, let it bet the supernatural. Let it bet the supernatural. I decree it is done. May the Lord send you your kind of man. I don't know the men you have chosen, but at the sound of your amen, God is sending you the men you need. God is sending you the men you need. God is sending you the man you need. Receive it right now. <laughs>